Welcome to the house of the Lord. Let's pray. May God, Holy Spirit, send us his power. And may he, by himself, keep our focus to the truth. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you so much for everything that we have done in our life. Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day and wonderful time that you have given us as a free gift to come to a holy place, to worship you, to glorify your name. Father, we acknowledge that you are Lord of Lords and King of Kings. You are sovereign, Lord. Help us, Father. Father, we pray in the same time that may your spirit lead and control your servant tongues and help us to Think about how the truth that you are going to teach all of us in the same time, Father, we pray, please prepare our heart to receive the today message and help us to put it to practice. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm sorry that today we don't have the bulletin because I sent to uh, Ben or Bolton, but do we have? No, we don't have it. I, I, by, by mistake, I sent to some else email. I'm sorry for that. Anyway, please open our Bible to your Bible to the Matthew, if you have any Bible by yourself, to Matthew chapter 10. We're supposed to uh, see what's happened to chapter 10, verse uh, 1. Jesus was actually in his journey in his trip to Jerusalem these days. Be before he received to Jerusalem, he uh, should pass in by Jericho. Jericho was a small city. You can find it in Mark 10, 36. I read for you from a different translation. This translation is not NIV, NLT, New Living Translation. And so they reached Jericho. Later, as Jesus and his disciples left, down, left town, a great crowd was following. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus was sitting beside the road as Jesus was going by. Then Bartimaeus heard that Jesus from Nazareth was passing by. He began to shout out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. Be quiet, some of the people yelled at him, but he only shouted louder, son of David, have mercy on me. When Jesus heard him, he stopped and said, oh, tell him to come here. So they called the blind man, cheer up. He said, come on, he's calling you. Bartimaeus, tear you aside his coat, jumped up and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked. Teacher, the blind man said, I want to see and Jesus said to him, go your way, your faith has healed you. And instantly, the blind man could see. Then he followed Jesus down the road. This Bible verse seemed very, you know, simple as the other blind people or somebody that would need to receive healed. And they called Jesus, and Jesus simply healed them. But if we look a little bit uh, mm, in detail way to these Bible verses, just let's first to see what's the location. Jesus in his last journey to Jerusalem, and the shouted multitude are 
escorting him. According to Locke, the Bartimaeus say, what's the cause of Basel? Because he used to sit there every day to receive some money from people. And it's told that Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He cries, Jesus, son of David. In those days, the, even the people, those who were with Jesus and they were companioning him to Jerusalem, even many of them didn't know that Jesus is really his Messiah. Jesus, even many teachers, didn't want to believe. Actually, they didn't know that Jesus is the Messiah and tried to deny him. Uh, if you see, later on, even Jesus' disciples, they weren't in the same place of knowledge and understanding that now we know about them. Later, Jesus came back after his resurrection. He showed himself to them. They believed him. And they started to share the gospel to people. Jesus was to passing by to Jericho. He supposed he's not anymore be in Jericho. That was last time for Jesus Christ because he went to Jerusalem and you know about our crucifixion. So he crucified because of you and me. Bartimaeus have received this knowledge from God himself. He was blind. He seemed nobody, you know, take care about him. Even just everybody look at short, you know, just uh, not care about him, just deny him sometime. Oh, many of times uh, they look at him really down because he could not see. But Bartimaeus when he heard that they say Jesus of Nazareth is passing, why? Just, you can imagine what went in his mind and heart. It, would, it revealed to him already that Jesus of Nazareth is Messiah, is Christ, is supposed to come to save people and save them and deliver them from their darkness life to Wonderful light. So he cried out and showed it that Jesus, Jesus, son of David, help me, mercy on me. The people, that was surprised for them, what he's talking about, and tried to silence him. They said to him, even some things maybe we don't know, Bible didn't mention, just Bible say us that they try to make him quiet. But he not only didn't stop it, but only he made it his voice louder. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Here, the Bartimaeus understand that Jesus is Messiah, and Messiah has power and will to help his people. He came by his divine power and almighty power and with his great will to help the people do so need. Actually, none of us can say we don't need. Everybody needs it. Even and in this case, the Bartimaeus showed us the way that how we have to ask Jesus and how to pray. So Bartimaeus, by Based of this wonderful revelation that he already received from God, he based his, he built his confidence on these two real, real and true character of Jesus Christ. That he has authority, he has power to do whatever he wants, and also he has great will to help everybody.
Bartimaeus didn't listen to anyone. You know, maybe just if we think about that, we can say if Bartimaeus was somebody that his hearing came from the man, he could say to people, oh, okay, you, want you, okay, you are not uh, satisfied with my crime, but I'm okay, I'm down. Because I need, just Jesus will be passed this way. I need you because you are the one who are living in my hometown and you are the people that help me every day by giving me money and by giving me the food. And if do some things, you know, that you are not agree with that, may I, you stop your supporting of me. So, but Bartimaeus hearing came from Holy Spirit. Bible say that faith will come through hear, not by seeing. How many of us can remember and say something about our grand grandfather or grand grandmother of us? We didn't see them, but we know they were exist. But our grandfather has heard something about them, our grandfather, mother. So uh, about something we cannot see, we have no experience, but we externally believe that uh, they were exist. And now today, Bartimaeus, he wants to speak to us the way that he received his eyesight is the way that God wants to us to see this wonderful way and put it to practice in our life today. He recognizing, he's recognizing the Lord the messianic character that was something easy that those days. Even religious leaders, they didn't want to accept that Jesus is Messiah. But how you think about it, just about some blind man? He boldly, he boldly confessed among people that Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. That's why surprise for other people. How he sees, how he get this knowledge. It seemed, uh, you know, that Jesus also, he heard his voice, but he didn't do something first sight. And Bartimaeus didn't ask to someone to, can you, for, after he understand that Jesus is passing by, he says somebody, okay, can, can you help me? Can you help me? Please, can you take me to Jesus? I have heard about him, something, he, he make miracles. He's, you know, he has some power. He relied to other people to help him and take him to Jesus. Instead, when they stopped him, he just did what he should do. Just because he used to keep his focus to the truth, not to people, not the people around himself. But sometimes we want to pray, and we want to keep our focus to the Bible, whatever Bible say us, just we want to put it to practice. But some things look like obstacle. As the people was, were around Bartimaeus, they were like an obstacle. They didn't want to help him. Not only didn't want to help him, but only they want to make some block the way they not to show him, call him, because they thought, you know, they, they, they did their job. As these days, we can see, we want to pray sometimes, but something looks like worries, fear. Sometimes we shame even to say, I'm Christian. You know, just because of these days, especially these days, there's a lot of denomination, a lot of neurologists that every day you can see, they rose up some neurologists, they say something about, you know, creation, God, creator, God, and the human. And, you know, standing firmly in this faith situation and boldly confess your faith is not something easy these days. But God said, my way, the way of the truth is narrow way. We have to think about that. The blind Bartimaeus has no anyone to help him. Just he have heard about how 
Jesus Christ. And his healing is, wasn't from people. Just people say, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Jesus did, people didn't say him. Jesus is the one who, out of the Old Testament, promised us that Jesus will come. He is the one. Already is coming. He is the Jesus, same Jesus. He is the Messiah. He can do whatever you want. They didn't tell him. Just instead, stop. Don't call him anymore. And we can see that it seemed Jesus was thinking about him or not. So when the people accepted that Jesus is not going to do something for him, Jesus called him. We have to know Jesus Christ is not dead that we just remembered him. And because, you know, we have Bible just, which sometimes we used to read the Bible, but actually we don't want to believe that Jesus, when he say, as I, I never leave you, never forsake you, I will be with you for, you know, end of your life, I am with you, just if we think about that, we believe it, we can realize re really his holy presence now is in here. And in this case, Bartimaeus has not already at that time a lot of, you know, uh, document. And somebody say him some things about of Jesus Christ. But today, we have Bible. If those days Jesus didn't claim that himself, he is Lord of Lord and King of King and Son of God and Messiah. Now we know that Jesus claimed already himself. And Jesus proved whatever he claimed that he is son of God by his resurrection. What's the message of these verses to us? First, we have to understand the time. We have to understand, we have to appreciate our time. Now we are in here today. We have a lot of petition in our life. We want to do something in our life. But, you know, sometimes just we say, okay, we, I will do it. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Just we want to just something, yeah, okay, I have some have bro broken friendship with my friends. Okay, I will think about that tomorrow. I want to, you know, attention to hereafter to Bible study. Just I, next week I will do it. So whatever you think, every one of us has something in our heart. But what Bible say? A lot of Bible verses we have that say today is today. Jesus himself say, no, today I'm standing on the door, door of your heart, and knock it. If anyone open it, I will enter. I eat with him and he with me. Today, just today. And also in Psalms, I want to read for you Psalms 95, 7, 8 say, For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture the flock under his care. Today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Today is time that we think about our, our future. If we understand the time of now that God has given us by his grace, we can take this wonderful time for, you know, all our days. It tomorrow also would be as a today for us. Our future also will be today for us. When we realize that God himself promised us, he sent Holy Spirit, and his Holy Spirit never leave us, never forsake us, and while we know that Holy Spirit is working in our heart and our life, and we can ask him whatever we have we face with problem, we face with something that we cannot easily take decision, we can ask him. He's always ready to lead his children. He's always ready to his, release his children and guide them. It doesn't matter what's the pro problem. Jesus knows about our detail, a small problem until big, you know, biggest problem. It doesn't matter. Just we have to have faith as Bartimaeus had it. He called him without shame, without fear. 
No, praise the Lord, we are in here. We can worship our God freely. And there is a lot of countries that they cannot freely worship Jesus. And even so, if you speak about Jesus, you will be in hot water. A lot of problems they make for you. But hallelujah for his wonderful grace and mercy in our, our, our life. But he, oh, he his promises, I will give you life abundantly. He wants, we enjoy our life by his presence. May all of our activities bring glory to his name. We can do, but if we have faith. I have heard some things that after if somebody say, after we receive to, you know, heaven, they, we can find a lot of gift by our name on them. So all, all is unopened. You know, they are our prayer, our prayer. If we pray by all of our faith, with all of our heart and spirit, God will do according of his will because he wants best for his children. And another message of these verses that we can find, we have to be strong. We have to call him by determine all of our heart. We should not be just be look like some look like lazy person, lazy people. Just sometimes Jesus, when he used to pray himself, really uh, he used to spend a lot of energy for that. Since we know he is God, he is son of God, he could do everything, but he wanted to help us to the way of the prayer. Jesus was passing by, and also he was never to be in Jericho anymore. If Bartimaeus didn't use this time, if he didn't appreciate the time that God has given him, he could not receive his eyesight, and he would remain in his blindness all of his life. Jesus came to this world, and it is his wonderful speak, that say us. I want to show the people, those who try to say that I can see, I, am, I, am, I, I, I have eyes to see. I want to show the people that they are blind. And I want to share, the, I want to show the people that they have to receive eyesight from heart. If spiritual eyes be open, all of our life will be changed. But sometimes we just see the surface of the materials and our life. Jesus is the living Christ who at this moment has all that he ever was. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, Jesus is the same. No, today that we are in here, and it's good for us to think about our life. Why we should try to understand our situation? Why we have to try to understand our time? Time is not, never repeat anymore. We cannot find it anymore. Two days, two days, finish. But if today we try to get something from God, we can put it to practice, and this wonderful God can help us in all the rest of our life. And some more things that I want to mention that here. When he called him, Jesus called him, you know, it seems people, they... They, they thought maybe he's not, he's not taking care about him. But Jesus, actually, he wanted to test the Bartimaeus' faith. He wanted to know he's 
you know, just really he wants to receive his eyesight or just he wants to just say some things. Jesus knows everything. And then he, after they call him, he threw out his coat. It's as if something looked like bondage. What's our bondage on life? There is a lot of things that you are thinking about them. They are unnecessary. That's something that, you know, just make, uh, make for us as a, you know, obstacle. Just we have to ask to God. Doesn't matter if you make, you know, wrong action until today. Or we are not that kind of faithful man to God, really. And ask him, Father, take away all of our, our bondage, all of our obstacle. He is faithful. He can do. There is no impossible with God. Everything is possible with God. But we cannot do it sometimes by our power. Because we are human. And God Almighty is his promises to us that I never leave you, never forsake you. But be with me and try to understand me. I want to use from this time to appreciate my brother and sisters. Really, when you encourage your brother and sister in Christ, maybe it seemed for you just you just you say something good word to them, but it is actually you are fulfilled what Jesus asked us to do with our brothers. Say mourn with those who are mourn and be happy with those who are happy. It should mean you have to be, you, you are the same. All of you are my children. All of you are my children. The same spirit has given to my brother too. That I have it too. The spirit that leads me and helped me in my time, the same spirit is inside of my brother and sister too. Let's to understand the time, our time today. Let's appreciate our time today. That it never repeat again. And also, let's be bold enough in God and try for him, do whatever he wants us to do without fear shame. God himself, Jesus himself say in Matthew, if you acknowledge me among people, I will acknowledge you from my, in, in persons of my father. And if you shame, I will shame on you too. I say, I don't want to know him. This is the day we have to be just think about of our life a little bit more and put into practice what God is speak to us today from life of our brother Bartimaeus, the one who became great servant for God and wonderful things. Last point. He used to be blind all of his life. He did not know the Colors. He did not know what kind of the people they did describe about the sun, the stars, or you know the flowers. After he received his eyesight, the first man, the first man he saw that was Jesus Christ, his Creator, his Lord and his Savior. How wonderful and really blessing life. So then he saw other people and didn't do anything just. A, Follow him. Let's see, Jesus is always waiting for us. And let's worship this wonderful God by our true heart and ask him to help us, Father. Sometimes we, you know, just we receive some things from God, God's message. But if little of them, just one, one, one sentence, if one sentence touch our heart, try to take this one sentence and meditate on it. And put it to practice. Father, help me to know the time is passing. We are short running of time. And also help me to understand the truth. And help me to bore the confess that you are Lord. To testimony to other people about of your greatness, about of your love, about your kind in my life. How you are kind to me. And may other people can receive the blessing. I think it's enough. Just
bless us to Holy Spirit to help us to open our spiritual eyes and may we can bring glory and honor to his name. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Almighty Father, thank you for this wonderful time, for this short message. Dear Father, it is your holy word that say, if you remain in me, I remain in you forever. And if you listen to my commandments, you are like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Lord Almighty, we believe that you are our rock and help us because we cannot do by ourselves. But with your Holy Spirit, we can do all things. And we can say we are strong and blind can say we can see. Open our spiritual eyes today and let you put to practice and share to our brother and sisters whatever you are teaching us. We pray this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.